Hey guys, Vibe and Brunette Shelly here. You guys probably have already seen part one if you're watching this. Clearly my bones was like... Okay, so I just talked about the outfit and the hair styling and how to make it look better. And because I just took it out the bun, it looks a bit frizzy again. But I'm just going to go over, you know, things you should always have in case these days happen. Some hairspray that is long holding. I really like these ones because they're cheaper, and but it's really nice. And this is clearly from Dance. They do have tons of this stuff at Dollar Tree. A styling gel. This is from Dollar Tree and it has tons in it. It says 16 ounces which is 454 grams. Look how big this bottle is. And I've had this for three years. And, and I use it a lot. Um, you want to have like a homemade sock bun and basically you just cut the foot part off of a sock, roll it into a little donut. And then you can roll it into your hair. You can watch videos on how to make them or, you know, whatever. You always want to have bobby pins, ponytails, and headbands. Which I'll show you in a second. Actually, one's, like, connected to the thing, y'all, <laughs> from dance. These are hot buns. Or you can buy a sack bun from, like, Selling Hanson. You can find these at Walmart, too, by the way. And you always want to have bobby pins, headbands, and, um, things. And, like, clips. And that's what I'm going to be showing you next. So first of all, hair accessories that you can have. In my little flip-flop container is what I'm going to show you first. Is in here is I have two neon colored thick headbands. And it's always nice to have these. And I got these in a two-pack for a dollar. And there's a black headband too, which came in a pack of ten from a dollar tree. And these are just really, really cute. You've seen in my last video of me showing you one. It didn't match. I have tons of ponytails. And you can get the prettiest colors pretty colored bobby pins that are sparkly, headbands, ponytails, hair clips, um, like, bobby pins, like, everything is at the Dollar Tree and cute stuff, and hair brushes, too, which is what I want to show you. It's always nice to have a hard brush, which <laughs> I broke this one a long time ago when I threw it at, um, the wall. And then, you know, like, soft brushes. So those are always really nice to have. And then other headbands, which you can also find are like the thinner ones that are designed. And um, you guys have seen this before. Um, let me just add the kind of. Um, perfect. Okay, so this right here I actually made. This mirror broke, and um, I have to get another one. So I haven't done that. Every time I go to Dollar Tree, I forget about that. I took the lining and I clipped some safety pins in this. And I hang my bracelets and my headbands on this. And you can hang other jewelry. And I'm just going to take my headbands off of this. This one's kind of thick, but it's not a really thick one. So I can still put that on there. And it's pink. Um, I have two regular black ones. I have three. You guys seen that one. And those come in a nice pack. These ones, um, this one was from the dollar store and it came in a pack. Um, I have a lot of headbands in my dance bag, so I'm not going to pull those out. But most of them are in there. But I am going to Dollar Tree to buy stuff, mainly for school. A couple of things for dance. This one is from Juicy Couture. Um, some of you guys might not have that. But I just thought it was cute when I was in there, so I got this with the sweatsuit. Um, and then I just have this really skinny blue one, and it's pretty old, as you can see, like, look, it's, like, ripping, kind of. And then this green one, and I am going to get more because a lot of them are in my dance bag, and when you have to, when you're starting a new dance here, I put most of them in there and then go rebuy other ones because, like, headbands and ponytails and things and bobby pins are a need, and that's why I don't have many bobby pins. They're all in my dance bag, but... I found the cutest NYC ones that are sparkly. There's, like, pink, blue. You can get, like, black, brown, silvers, and things like that that are kind of, like, more natural, but they're still sparkly, you know, if you want to match your hair color or something. And then they have, like, pink, blues, greens, you know, like, in a pack of one. So those are nice to have. And then now I only have, like, three hair clip things. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. But, um... I am going to get more because, of course, like I said before, my clips are mostly in my dance bag. I have this one, which came in a dance um thing. This one, which I got at Walgreens in a big pack, but um those are my dance bag. And this from when feather clips were cool. I had so many of these, and my little cousin loves them, and I gave most of them to her. 
Um, this is the only one I have, and I think it's because I recently found this one again, and it had rhinestones on it. Um, on the pink ones, it had black, and then on the black ones, it had pink rhinestones. And then it has, like, these just little black beads. It was really cute. Um, I'm actually going to keep this one. Um, it's cute to put in your hair. These were, like, really cool. I don't know if you guys remember that at one point, but, um, and I just had this piece of cardboard. And I taped a fabric onto it. And the re reason I taped it and didn't super glue fabric glue or like staple or anything like that is because I'm thinking if I want to reuse this or put a new fabric on, I want it to be able to take it off. And, you know, it's going to be like, oh, let me look at the back of that. But anyway, so I keep my clips on here and I put them all around. Um, and I keep that up here by my stuff. Now, accessorizing accessorizing this outfit. All my accessories are over here. My rings, my bracelets, my earrings. I actually do not have necklaces in stock, but I am going to get some at Forever 21. So, first, I'm going to bring you back to this. And I'm going to show you my bracelet. Okay, this whole pack was from the wet seal and I believe it was like eight ninety nine. And these are all different. My sister brought me back a anklet from Aruba. You could wear it either or and it's just cute if you have a certain outfit and you want to accessorize it. Um this these were also really cool at one point. These little things. And I have a bunch of these but I gave them away. And this is the only one I still have. Because it was my favorite. It was rhinestone and it was blue, which is my favorite color. This one, um, I actually got in a gift um, from a few friends. Like the 8th graders, they were like, hey, you want this bracelet? They got some bracelets. Because they always, I'm so little, they're always just like, oh my god, she's so cute. Then there's this, you can make this. It's just a braided leather strap one. And it like pulls, you know, like the ones that you um, get with the beads. Um, and I have a couple of those, but I actually have those ones put away because the ones that I do have of those are my real jewelry because um, I got them for Christmas. Like, I never actually bought a fake one, and it's, like, real diamonds, and I think it was from, like, Mary Kay or something. This one came in the pack, and it's just black beads with a cross. I'm obsessed with these ones. I need to go and get a school one. This, it just, it looks faded on the sides, and you can see, like, the lines. It looks like marble. It's really cute, and it's blue. It's pretty blue. And this one just has gold beads, and it's a gold cross. I don't know what this little thing is. And then just this pretty pink beaded one. And I love having these, you know, just to, um, have to accessorize this outfit. And the ones that I actually picked for this outfit were these two. Um, because... They're gold, and I'm wearing gold jewelry with this because I have cheetah leggings, and I can put them on, and they just look really cute together. They did come in a pack, so I would assume so, and they just really spice up your life. <laughs> they spice up your life, and they just look really, really cute. So I'm just going to put these back up there real quickly. And I do have a couple of extra safety pins to hang other stuff up. And now, on these little models back here, which I've talked about before, I have my simple rings to just spice up an outfit really quickly. And um, I do have, um, oops, I'm not going to stuff over, I'm not going to stuff over. Okay, these little things, they hold my necklaces underneath the rings, and clearly I only have one, it's just a chain, and my silver rings are on the silver one, and my gold rings are on the gold one. Clearly I would probably pick something from the gold one, because she just looks really good with gold, and clearly I picked gold bracelets too. So, and also I will be bringing over my other rings, and my little earring thing. Um, I made a little ring holder. It's kind of like crappy, but it works, so. And this is my little earring thing. It was just a little picture frame that was from a graduation. I put some office tape that was decorated, and I had these little sticker things. I put my initials in this little square, and then I just have, like, 13 pairs of earrings. Most of them are, like, 
I had a bunch, but these ones are on, um, two of them came in packs, and only one pair is, like, different, and I got them from Walmart for dance, and you guys have probably seen this if you watched all my videos, um, and these are just earrings, because most of the earrings I've had, I've lost, or they're real, so they're packed away with real jewelry, you know, and then my little ring holder right here has my more fancy rings, or rings that I don't wear anymore, like rings from when I was a kid. And I just have three really fancy rings, a mood ring that I got from someone very special, and then a gold ring that my friend bought me. And anything someone gives me, I don't care if it's a paper clip, they put, even if they didn't put thought into it, to me, if they took the time to at least give me something, it's special. So, And these little simple rings right here, I'll show you the silver ones first. Um, these, and all these are mostly in packs. All my rings are from Charlotte Russe. So. This one right here is just really pretty. It's just rhinestone and like you can probably like see the shape. It's like this. Um, and it's really, really pretty. It's silver. And then these ones are like all simple. This one has like a little that one. And then these last two are like really simple. This one's just like a plain straight band. Um, and then this one just has some ridges in it. A little bit more fancy. So these just spice up your outfit. And then um, oh, oh. um, and then I only have one, um, simple, um, I only have one, um, ring that's really, like, fancy, that's silver. I have two gold ones, but, and this also came in a pack. All these rings came, it was, like, five in a pack, this whole silver one, and it just has this little crossing. It's not, like, real fancy, but it's dangly, so it's kind of fancy. <laughs> so, those are my silver rings. And then, my gold rings, this one, just really pretty. These are just, like, really pretty and simple. Um, these two are, like, really similar, but one looks like rocks and one looks like zigzag. I'm just going to put that right there. And they're just, like, thicker bands, and they're so cute. And I actually paired, um, I actually paired this with this outfit, these two, um, together, just on my ring finger, it would look really pretty, and then my other two, this one just has these little, like, beads that stick out, it's really simple, but pretty to spice up your life, and then this one, which has pearls, because it came in a set with a fancy one that did have pearls on it, and these gold ones are actually from two sets, and you will know, um, you don't know about that if you watched another video. This one is really pretty, like, for the holidays, especially. It's this cute little bow with a little bead hanging from it. So cute. Um, this actually could be paired with it, too, but I wouldn't because I think it's really holiday-ish and fancier. And, you know, if you're in a rush, I'm not about to pull out this ring. And then this really pink, pink bow with pearls, and it's gold. It is so, so cute. So. That is my, um, my whole rings to spice up your life, um, to just spice up, um, your outfit, and the last thing is, I don't even know if I have time to show you this, um, I'm just gonna go through it quick, it's just some earrings, and I have silver ones and gold ones, and the ones that I paired with this outfit were just these really cute gold bows, which I know I said I wouldn't wear the bow ring because it's more holiday, but this one can really be worn with kind of like anything. I don't know like why that is, but I think it would just be too fancy if I'm wearing bow earrings too. And I could really just wear one of these like gold ball earrings um, or just some gold studs I have. So that's it. Um, I have these like pretty flowers and, and these are from Wet Seal. Um, well, this pair is from Walmart. And then all the gold ones are from Wet Seal, and all the silver ones are from Charlotte Roos. And Charlotte Roos has this whole thing where all the jewelry is 2 for 10. So I'll smash that up while you can. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and hope it helped you out. Bye, guys. Woo!